Hey ladies and gents, welcome back. This is going to be part one to what if Naruto was an attack on Titan. So with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm telling you to and leave any comments for any suggestions that you have in the future. So with that being said, let's just get into exactly how this what if is going to work and what's going to be happening inside of it. So for a basis of how exactly this is going to happen, you know, the whatever the god is of their universe is, he would just basically be like, hmm, I'm getting kind of bored. He fucking snaps his fingers and they just get swapped. Naruto, shortly after like the nine tails and everything like that happening, it gets sealed inside of him. Everything like that, like Minato and Kushina literally just died. They sealed all their, all their like thoughts and everything like that into Naruto. And then Naruto gets Whumped over and he's inside of you know basically he's basically just being born inside of the attack on titan universe and at that same time aaron gets yeeted over into the naruto universe but like god damn i feel bad for him without his titan powers he's gonna get butt fucked <laughs> just saying so naruto you know he's like looking around he's like huh interesting the mom and dad of Aaron would be looking at this kid they're like why the fuck does he have blonde hair that doesn't make any fucking sense like they're like kind of confused by it but they're not really gonna think all too much of it so Naruto would go through like the childhood that Aaron would end up going through normally he'd be like okay now I have to kill a bunch of people save Mikasa and everything like that so he goes through that he obviously would still want to become a scout because like he sees them and he's just like whoa that is so cool so something I actually did want to bring up is the fact that physical training and everything like that in the Naruto universe seems a lot more effective and like the bodies of people inside of those different universes seems to be a lot like better I guess you could say when it comes to actual physical training and everything like that like remember when Naruto was like six years old he's like fucking swinging around from trees and like like he's really like he'd be a lot stronger than what Aaron would be because of the physical body or the difference that he has compared to Aaron, along with the chakra actually probably strengthening him as well. So he's like stronger than me. Like, remember how like Aaron was like completely butt fucked by like Mikasa and everybody like that, or at least he would be if they got into a fight. It's the complete opposite for Naruto. He has this natural affinity for fighting and like you know, everything like that. He gets physically stronger, faster than everybody else, and nobody can really seem to match him. So, he doesn't really get bullied like Aaron would. Or not Aaron, so, well, yeah, Aaron, but I said, I don't know why, but when I said Aaron, I pictured Aaron with, like, an A, instead of Aaron with, like, E-R-I-N, and I don't, that's what confused me. I was just like, wait, no, not Aaron, but that, that's, like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. So, you know, he doesn't really get bullied like what he would in the original. However, obviously, he would still befriend people like Mikasa and, and Armin. Because, obviously, like, you know, like, he'd still do that. He sees Armin getting bullied, and he's just like, I'm gonna help. And surprisingly, he actually does help. It's not just Mikasa helping. So, obviously speaking, Naruto's kind of like, he's... He's stronger, I guess you could say, than Eren. A little bit more respected by the different people, but for a completely different reason. Like, he still has the personality and everything like that, similar to Eren. So, it wouldn't really change all too much from that perspective of actual things. So, with that, like, actually happening, he would... The, 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 I can't fucking speak. The Titan attack would still end up happening. The colossal Titan just, like, shows up, and he's just like, what's fucking poppin', bitches? And he kicks down the wall. Everybody's like, oh my fucking god. And obviously, his mom would get stuck under that, like, fucking house and everything like that. That would all still happen normally. So, Naruto and, you know, Mikasa would end up going down there. They're trying to pick this up, and Naruto is a lot more physically powerful than Eren was, and slowly, it's actually, the house is getting lifted. Very slowly, and it's pretty much unnoticeable to, like, anybody else who just happened to be running by. So, you know, the soldier guy shows up, I can't really remember his name, and he's just like, you guys, help your mom, I'm gonna, like, you know, try to go stop this titan. So he runs up to the titan, he's like, I'm a scout, this is what I do, or a soldier, whatever you want to call it. So, he jumps out there, and he's just like, oh, fuck, never mind, sorry, this is literally just before Naruto would be able to lift it high enough for her to actually escape, and he pulls them away. Naruto's staring and like screaming at this point. He's like, no, we were so close. Let me go back. And he watches his mom get eaten. Yeah, obviously he's going to have a lot more hatred for this soldier guy than what Eren did because they had like, they were actually so close to being able to free her, but he couldn't because 
he pulled her away. So obviously he's just like, okay, this is complete and utter bullshit. I'm going to kill this man when I get the fucking chance to. So some time would actually end up passing by. You know, the whole like serum thing would actually happen, like, because, you know, that's obviously what would happen, because, you know, it happened to Eren, so, like, serum, Naruto goes to turn into a titan, and, you know, he eats the guy, so, Naruto gets this titan shifter power, and everything like that, that happens normally, as it would happen for Eren, so, they would begin their training for, like, scouts now, because, obviously, they would want to do that still, so, they would begin their training, and everybody is pretty impressed with Naruto, because he has these natural affinities for pretty much everything, and he grows a lot faster than everybody around him, He's, like, really fast, really strong already, even though he literally just joined this, like, academy, or whatever it even is called, the scout regiment or military training, whatever the hell he's actually doing. He grows a lot faster than everybody else would because of his different abilities that he actually has. So, with that actually happening, eventually time would come to the point where they have to test for their ODM gear, I think is actually what it's called, I I think. So they're doing this test and Naruto would still get that broken ODM gear. So he doesn't actually manage to do it the first time. However, he was just like, okay, there's no way in hell. He has even more motivation than Eren had because of the fact that he like has this deep hatred and because, you know, he literally almost saved her, but then no, he didn't. <laughs> so he's just like, okay, there, there's zero way I'm not going to become a scout. I am going to do this. So you know, he gets this, like, motivation boost, and he actually does manage to do it the next day. So everybody's just, like, looking at him. Obviously, the ODM gear would malfunction, and they'd be like, oh, that's, it's, it's faulty. Give him a new one. So he gets a new one, and he does it really easily. And they're like, how the fuck did he do that with a broken ODM gear? How the actual hell? So everybody's pretty impressed, confused, and everything like that as of to how he actually ended up doing that, but they're not really going to think in, a, in a, an absurd amount about exactly what was going on with that. So more time would actually pass by, and they would actually be done with their whole training thing, and they'd be, like, chilling out by, like, the gates and everything like that, and all of a sudden, the Colossal Titan is just behind Eren. So, or not Eren, Naruto. So Naruto is just like, what is everybody looking at? And then a shadow, like, kind of, like, goes over him and he turns around. He sees this massive fucking Titan and he's just like, oh, hell no. So he jumps up and he's just like, okay, fuck this thing. I'm going to kill it right now with my own two hands. So he uses his ODM gear and he's swinging around and he's about to go for the cut on the neck. And he kind of just gets swatted out of the way because he wasn't, like, he's never fought a titan before. He wouldn't have any experience with it. He might be faster, but you can't really run faster if you're using ODM gear in the air. So that doesn't really, like, he could swing his swords faster, but he was already in the air. And he doesn't have any actual experience with fighting things, not at least not yet. So, you know, he, like, he gets swatted out of the way. The gate basically just gets kicked down and the colossal titan completely and utterly disappears basically like a second before naruto could actually recover and go in for a second attack so with this actually happening this would begin the struggle for trust so a bunch of like tons and tons of titans would actually begin like you know swarming their way through with everybody trying to like you know they're trying to stop them obviously like this isn't exactly a good situation for anybody to actually be in so everybody would begin fighting titans and everything like that naruto is doing pretty well he's actually killed multiple titans with his odm gear already however similar events would actually take place Armin is about to get eaten, and obviously Naruto isn't going to have that. That's, like, one of his best friends. So he jumps into the mouth of the Titan, grabs him, throws um, Armin out of it, and obviously he's about to get eaten by this Titan. So, you know, he's getting eaten by this Titan. He's trying to hold the mouth of the Titan open. However, his physical ability is not that great where he could literally just stop it. Like, the, he, like the mouth of the Titan is, like, literally bigger than his entire body by, like, three times. He isn't just going to easily be able to stop that. So, he gets swallowed, and he gets eaten. He gets, you know, sent into the frickin' mouth of this Titan, and he's chilling inside of the mouth of the Titan. At this point, obviously, things would be happening normally. Like, you know, fucking Armin goes, and he's, like, crying at this point. Mikasa shows up, and she's like what happened to Eren? And obviously, you know, she still has that, you know, she's just like, whatever. 
suicide is the best option. So she jumps out and she's just like, okay, well, I might as well try taking out a few titans before I, you know, let myself get killed. So she's going and she's trying to kill as many titans as possible before she, you know, gets herself actually killed by this. So with that actually happening, Naruto inside of the mouth of the titan at this point is just like, no, I won't die. And he, you know, he becomes his first time or second time, I guess you could say, he goes into his titan form. He, and he, like, obviously isn't in complete control, but he does have that motivation. Kill Titans. So he, you know, fucking tightens it up, and his hand appears out of the mouth of the Titan that he's inside of, and he goes on a complete and utter rampage. Now, I don't know if you can, like, strength, if, like, your own physical body determines the strength of whatever Titan you have, but obviously he'd still have the attack Titan, because that's the Titan he got from his dad. Or, not his dad, but his fake dad i don't know it's weird to say but that's like the titan that he inherited because of the fact that like that's the titan he ate basically so with that actually happening he still gets the attack titan now i don't know if that like it would be stronger because of the fact that naruto was stronger than eren was but we're just gonna say sure because why not so it's a little bit stronger it's obviously not on like a complete and utter like massive scale comparatively but you know it's you can definitely see a noticeable difference in how strong the titan actually is comparatively to how strong Aaron's was so it goes on a complete and utter rampage not killing people but just killing titans so mikasa is about to get eaten by that one titan naruto just fucking one shots it it like gets sent flying and it goes all the way into like a kind of nearby wall it gets sent flying all the way across leaving a massive dent inside of the wall not actually revealing inside of the wall that there's like crystals or anything like that because you know that's no, no just no so with that actually happening, Mikasa is just like, oh no, now this titan's gonna kill me. However, you know, Naruto just kind of walks away at this point, and he's like, bye, I'm out of here, chieftain. And Mikasa is just like, wait a minute, that looks kind of like Naruto. That's a little bit weird. That's a little bit sus, if you ask me. So, <laughs> so Naruto continues going on his, like, entire rampage, killing titans and not actually killing people, and Mikasa and everybody else and Armin would actually form this plan. They're like, okay, we need to get more, like, like gas or whatever it is. We're almost out of gas for our ODM gear. We need to get more. So they come up with a plan. They're like, what if we use that abnormal right there and we basically lead it to other titans because it doesn't want to kill us. So they're like, yeah, this definitely is complete, completely and utterly crazy, but we might as well fucking try it at this point. So, you know, they lead Naruto over there, and Naruto completely and utterly dominates. He's a lot stronger than Eren's actual, like, Titan was, so he just completely and utterly buttfucks everybody there. Like, all, or not everybody, but all the Titans there. They keep on coming, keep on coming. Naruto has killed, like, minimum of, like, 30 to 40 Titans at this point, and he's, like, he's doing good at this point. Like, he's, like, completely killing and, like, doing all kinds of different things. Naruto at this point actually like kind of regains his senses and he's like looking around it's been longer and he finally managed to regain his senses so he's looking around he's just like okay what the fuck where am I why am I inside of this weird thing so he manages to like completely like take over and he's looking and he's just like I'm kind of big, aren't I? Uh, like, why am I bigger than a lot of the buildings around me? He looks around for a little bit longer, and he sees that there's, okay, Mikasa, Armin, everybody like that is kind of just, like, staring at him. And he's just like, the fuck? <laughs> you guys seem kind of small right now. And he looks down, he's just like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a titan? He's, like, really confused, really concerned at this point. So he basically be like, okay, well, I'm going to try to leave this form now. So he begins like shrinking back down into his normal like form, I guess you could say. So he shrinks back down and he's like, he starts to like appear out of the back of it. He's unconscious at this point because of the amount of like fighting he's actually been doing. With Aaron waking up from his little like coma thing, he gets taken into basically custody of the garrison. They're all like surrounding him and they're they're just like, are you human or Titan? And Naruto's like, I'm fucking human, motherfucker. He's just like, I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but you're lying. He's just like, fire the cannons. So Naruto just is just, just like, uh, how about nah? So he, you know, uses his titan hand. He didn't, like, know he could do it in the first place, but he's just, like, you know, he needed to stop it. He stopped the cannon fire with his titan hand, and it was, you know, he's just like, what, this is what I look like now? Because it's a completely and utterly different, like, 
titan thing that he's looking at. It's just like a rib cage, and everybody's like, what the fuck is that? So then Armin is just like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And Naruto's just like, I'll leave it up to you. So Armin is just like, okay, trust me. He jumps out of the smoke, and he's just like, wait, he can be a military asset. So, you know, he the freaking garrison person is just like, he ain't having it. He's just like, no. <laughs> Fire again! However, the general guy would actually show up. You know, that bald guy. I actually like him. I, that, the, yeah. So he shows up and he's just like, eh, how about you don't do that? So he's just like, I'll take you guys with me. So he brings Armin, Aaron, and Mikasa all up to like the top of this thing. And he's just like, so, do you think there's a way we can seal this? And Armin is just like, well, if we get, if we get Naruto over here to turn into a titan... He can grab that massive boulder and save the Trost District. This would bark the first time humanity has ever retaken land from the Titans. Ever! So, you know, the guy's just like, hmm. Yes, this seems like a good idea. So, yes, we'll, we'll allow this. So, you know, everybody jumps down there. And, and Naruto is just, like, fucking tightening up. He gets into his titan form, however, he does not have complete control over himself this time because of the fact that he's going into full power. At least I think that's why Eren couldn't control himself. So, you know, he's just like fucking punch Mikasa. Mikasa barely manages to get out of the way of the punch and, you know, Armin jumps in and he's just like, I'll help you go over there. So he shanks freaking <laughs> Naruto and he's just like... <laughs> listen to me you can do this and you know naruto like wakes up he's just like yeah you're right i can so naruto stands up and he begins picking up the boulder because of the fact that his titan is even stronger than the one Aaron had he pretty easily picks it up and begins walking it over to the area and he basically slams it down and seals away the trost district marking the first time humanity has ever retaken land from the titans so, with that actually happening, some of the Titans are actually, like, taken into custody because, you know, Sonny and Beanie, we can't forget about those two. Like, they're pretty, they're, they're like the Chad Titans. You know, obviously they're going to get killed later, but whatever. So, they take them into custody, and Aaron would, or Naruto would actually awake from his coma because, you know, he was tired as fuck. And he's actually in a prison cell with Erwin and Levi, you know those two bitches so he gets like explained of exactly what happened after you know the whole big boulder thing and he's beginning to be held on a trial so you know he's eventually given over to the custody of the scout regiment after everything that's happened and joins the scout regiment but that's where i'm gonna leave this part out so i'll see you guys in my next video peace out bye bye